terms of like Shaggy has a lot of these kind of like big uh, hitboxes that they uh, can throw out. But in terms of Finn being able to just constantly apply that pressure with like that air momentum and really get those combos going, maybe even do some spacing with these smash attacks. But it looks like we're getting into game one here. Hey, yes, and already are. using that, uh, that, uh, what was it? I think it's like a crystal or something. I didn't know it was a projectile. Oh yeah, it is. I call it a gem with uh with with, with Finn. A lot of people call it gem, but yeah, when okay. he, when Finn does not have enough coins, he actually throws out an apple instead, which deals a little bit less damage. As we see now, gone looking for those neutral areas, and uh, that gem is basically something that Finn can kind of dash to. And when they dash to the gem, they can kind of use it as a recovery tool or as a tool to engage on their opponent. Yeah, right now it looks like. Uh... Uh, Sue was struggling for a bit here, but already able to rack up a bit of percent to kind of make up that difference. Yeah, as we see right now, Sue throwing out the gem right there. Oh, grabbing! I love the re-grab on the gem, being able to use that as a projectile as well, uh, catching it in like a projectile item. And now we see the slice specials coming out here. And as we said earlier, Gon's gonna have to figure out a way to work around this sword because you know Shaggy with those stubby little legs and arms, it's kind of hard to avoid the hitbox of a sword when you're only punching and kicking. And right now there isn't too much of a percent difference here is like probably about 30 or 20 at the moment but right now it looks like uh going for the moment is doing relatively well here um but you know i think the burst factor that finn has is pretty insane oh yeah that is for sure yeah, that that burst factor that finn has finn can go from zero to 100 real quick on you and you have to be very very careful of and selective of how you approach this character and then also how they approach you looking for that grounded down attack as well uh soon trying to get something started here sitting at 124 percent you gotta imagine here how are they gonna be able to get into this nasa at this percentage you gotta be careful of like shaggy down there yeah, right now it looks like uh, Sue's really just kind of like fishing for some of these aerials to connect, but you gotta be real careful, especially when Shaggy has rage like that. They can definitely take the stock. Oh yeah, that is for sure. We see that 140. Wow, I have no idea how Sue was able to hold onto that one. We see the grounded down attack coming out. Gone looking for that up special, not able to get it. But that sandwich, sandwich will do stage. it. Yeah, that sandwich will definitely do it. All right. Will the Shaggy be able to hold on to this lead at the moment, being at 110? Um, right now, it's looking really good for him. Getting a lot of extra credit already taking to off the stage. Is that going to be a stock? It could be here in a second. But okay, it looks like we got a bit of a reset at the moment. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like that guarded down attack was going to be able to uh, seal the deal right there on that first stock like, against Sue. But right now, gone. So you got 127, trying to figure out some way to finish off this fin. They have a lot of steam right now and is trying to keep this momentum, especially here in this advantage state. Okay, we see both players kind of throwing out a lot of hitboxes. Good air dodge there to try to avoid that really hard hitting hitbox. All right, has something going on here. Can't quite uh, get anything to connect at the moment, though. Yeah, if Sue wants to be able to get back in this game. They're going to have to be very careful of the side specials, and Shaggy just kind of bouncing around all over them. They have to be able to catch those jumps and figure out how to approach and make sure they get a clean punish onto Gon. Ooh, getting hit with that side special there, and I saw the bag there. That definitely could lead to a stock here. Right now, it is Sue is a stock down at the moment. Needs to close out the stock. Not quite able to do it, even at 150. Shaggy is a lot heavier character than you would think. Yeah, that is so weird how Shaggy is one of the heavier characters in the game. As we see that downer coming up from Gone, almost all killing Sue. Sue has to be careful here. Very great DI. Using the gem to get back to the stage. And that is the versatility of Finn's gem. You can kind of just leave it there. And then as soon as you want to teleport to it, you can. Basically giving you a free recovery. All right, and right now Sue just holding on to dear life with that last stock at 150. And that will do it with the down air straight into the stage. Yeah, very good down air there coming out from Gone, able to get that kill. And now they get the first game win on Sky Arena with platforms. If you're Sue, what is the strategy going into this next one, Nasa? What do you think that something that they could change in order for them to get back into this set? Um, I was seeing a lot of kind of like aerial bait from Sue. Also, uh, initially trying to use Jam as a projectile a whole bunch against Shaggy. I felt like he wasn't necessarily 
confident in terms of approaching, um, which is very odd to me as a Finn player, is that you have so much uh, things to approach with. You have, uh, as all your smash attacks, you, you can, on the ground, you can charge them up and use them um, as approach options. Might it be that uh, they might get air dodged and such, but it's just what you're able to do afterwards in comparison to a lot of characters, you're able to act relatively quick. So you can get a lot from even whiffing some of these charged uh, attacks. Not necessarily like uh, the down strong, for example, where you, you it's really high commitment and you can uh, get punished for it. But for like up strong or side strong or even just neutral strong, um, it's just a really big disjointed hitbox that really uh, can mess up an opponent trying to approach oh yeah i definitely agree with you on that uh i feel as though right now nasa like the big thing that i saw as well was like not only do we see a, a lot of situations where maybe aerials or or uh, grounded attacks are being thrown out by sue but it seems as though gone is just being able to use their double jump or use their jumps to kind of stay right at that distance where the attacks will miss and they can almost just weave around them and so Sue being able to punish jumps is going to be key going into this next team. As we see Sue hovering over the Harley here. So it looks like I think they definitely want to be able pick. to punish here. Yeah. And I, I'm definitely interested to see how this goes. I think Finn does relatively well against Shaggy. Um, but I guess probably something Sue was thinking about is like, oh, perhaps I would be able to get a little bit more from the Harley. I'm not sure whether this player... Uh, specializes in one character over the other um, but assuming that we s saw Harley uh, for that grand spot um, in winner's side I, I figure uh, the Harley pick might, might be the way to go yeah, we shall we shall see as we go into this. I feel like the Harley is a little bit better of an anti-air character so I feel like this will work a little bit better in their favor in terms of catching those jumps and being able to deny those aerial approaches from Shaggy as we already see the Jack in the Box being set up, able to tank a sandwich right there. They both have their projectiles set up. Sue having the plushies stuck themselves there, being able to use that as a combo extender if they want to. And right now I can kind of see how Sue's playstyle kind of worked into Finn right now because they see in terms of just how Sue plays Harley is just playing real patiently, really throwing out a lot of these projectiles in order to kind of just get something to connect and get something started. Whereas he was playing Finn being like throwing out these uh, gems as you were saying. Uh, very, very odd to me as a Finn player seeing that sort of approach. Yeah, that is for sure. Usually gem is usually usually teleport to it and use the blade part of it to try to make an engagement off of it. But now as we see Sue kind of using the jack of the boxes to kind of get some stage control against Gon, because now with the jack of the box being set up on the corner, it makes it a little bit harder for Gon to weave around that and then also get to Harley because you have two things to worry about. The explosion hitbox and also Harley themselves as we see a possible edge guard happening right here as Gon able to get back to the stage and Sue as well. All right, whiffing that down air there, but able to get the kick to connect before getting hit uh, by the projectile. Okay, gotta watch out for that plushie. And I think right now, uh, the Shaggy is doing a fantastic job at just kind of getting away with uh, a lot of these aerials, not getting hit by too many projectiles at the moment. As we see the forwarders coming out here, looking for the jab reset off of that, but a very good knee coming out there from Gon. Gon looking for the down air here as well. Nasa, this is scary here, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, and able to catch with the sandwich too. Great call out there from the Shaggy. Yeah, that was definitely a great call out right there, Nasa. As now we see Gon taking that first ring out. Gon coming in with full steam. This is the thing about Shaggy. Shaggy's a very flow-based character. Once you get those combos started and you start pressuring your opponent and keeping that advantage state, it can be very difficult to get back in. As we see now, Sue stuck off stage. Down here coming in from top. And Gon is able to take game two just That's... like that. <laughs> wow, that that is uh, that is crazy. Like, Shaggy is just a powerhouse, but, uh, man, just the positioning and knowing when to punish, that was, that was crazy. Yeah, what a great performance right there from going, uh, able to take that game, uh, up against two. And now, I believe that, I believe this is best of five since this is, uh, top eight. I'm not exactly okay. sure. Is this best of five? Okay, cool. Already, yeah. I thought first. I thought the set was over, but I'm like, nah. This is top. This is top eight. It is crazy how quick some of these singles games can go, especially when one player is just really feeling themselves.
Oh yeah, I definitely agree with you on that one. Sometimes they can just go by so, so fast. Uh, it can just be blink and you miss it. But uh, that's multiverses for you people. If you like high place, high octane gaming, uh, this is a game for you. No matter if you play multiverses or not, it is super fun to watch. And that's part of the reason why we're here commentating it because this game is a beauty. And hey, it's free to play. Just pick it up if you're... Uh... Even if you're new to platformers, man, like I have seen so many people that haven't touched uh, Ultimate or NASB Rivals or any sort of platformer before, but su suddenly I just see all my friends is like playing multiverses. Like, bro, they've never touched a platformer in their life. So th there's obviously this kind of like casual appeal um, to this game, and I'm really happy to see it uh, do so well right now. Oh, yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. Uh, this game is. This game is in a position where, you know, basically anyone can pick it up. Anyone can pretty much play it. Uh, and, you know, it's pretty flexible. Even if you want to play it casually or if you want to get into competitively, you can very easily do so. Uh, and, yeah, it, it, the flexibility is a big selling point to this. As we get into this game three scenario, going up 2-0. And as soon as we get back into this game, they're going to need a dominant performance here on Trophy's Edge. And right now you see Harley kind of going for the same stuff, really just throwing out a lot of these uh, hitboxes, able to get a, one of them to connect. But right now, uh, the Shaggy's just doing an excellent job at avoiding them, similar to the previous game. Yeah, I love this, the usage of the plushie here, kind of just walling out Shaggy, making it difficult for Shaggy to kind of get in here. As we see the side special coming out here from Gon, Throwing out that sandwich here as well, using the very- I love the sandwich usage from Gon, kind of just using that to kind of delete a lot of those setups coming out from uh, from Harley. If Harley wants to set up a jack-in-the-box, you can drop the sandwich and just delete it and open up some space for themselves as we see that side special knocking Ooh. Sue off stage. Ooh. Nasta, this is getting scary! Wait a moment! Okay, he's gonna get the down air no. Oh, a little overcommitted there, but that was very close to being able to take that stock. Yeah, that is for sure. As we see the plushie being stuck on to Gon, and now Sue is gonna have to be able to get oh, in and get that damage reset. in. I love oh my the goodness. reset. Yeah, got a lot of damage there, but it was just getting towards that high percent, and without it being on ledge, you're not necessarily able to get a kill setup from it. Yeah, now we see the sandwich coming out here from Gon. Gon just kind of playing this a little bit safe, doesn't want to get hit by any of those combo extenders from Harley because that plushie can easily lead to other things as well as Jack in the Box. Going for the down air here and getting a free charge off of it. Ultra Instinct oh, online. Oh, using the sandwich. sandwich. Oh, yeah, you gotta I be love careful that. here. You gotta be careful here. Okay, great use of up special to, you know, got that disjoint recovery. Oh, but losing rage um, doesn't really matter at this point. You're going to kill Harley with a hard hitting move, as you can see there. But having rage again, that can lead to some good extra value. Ooh, cool 20 right there. Yeah, as we see the up special coming out here from Sue, able to take that stock right there, and now both of them at a match point. Nasta, this is crazy here because now we see the situation where both players are kind of just feeling each other out in neutral, and it's really going to be down to who can find this first enga engagement and get in. And right now it's looking grim here for Harley at the moment, even like at 38%, just because Shaggy has such high kill power here if you're not able to really rack up that damage onto shaggy getting that stock is looking less and less likely oh great use of the sandwich there yeah so now as we see uh sue sitting at that 55 percentage kind of looking for a lot of these down airs here trying to see if they can maybe get the combo extension off of that very interesting grounded down attack trying to engage with that but a lot of wisp coming out here from both players is kind of just throwing out hitboxes seeing if they can find something very good side special right there from gone gone trying to get something off stage here nasa but not able to get anything just yet yeah i think it was good that sue opted for the high recovery because as we've seen shaggy just has a lot in his toolkit to really mess with people at ledge we see now oh. the plushie being stuck on the Sue. That's really good there for uh, for Sue, but now Sue's sitting at 103. One really good hit from Shaggy, and this could be it, Nasa. Yeah, at 103%. I see a lot of down airs there, which really just combo into a lot of things here. Um, and right now, we see playing really safely here. We see a lot of these projectiles out here from Harley. Harley also fishing out for something at the moment. Um, but you just don't want to get hit in this scenario because that could change the pace of the game here. Ooh, wasn't able to capitalize on that uh, that neutral air though. 
Yeah, the forward air here from Harley is such oh, a great combo starter there. Uh, and now we see the double the double jack of the box on the other side of Sage Sue. Playing is very carefully going for the charge grounded up attack. Sandwich right there coming out from Gon Gon looking for an edge guard, smelling that blood in the water like a ship and is able to get the edge guard gone taking game three.